beautiful people. This is A Man of Clay, and we're back at it today with a little bit more Lost in Random. Uh, we had kind of left off quite abruptly in the last episode, um, and <laughs> and I always say I always say that I'm going to try and keep these short, but this one for sure has to be short because I have to leave in like an hour. So, but I I really hated that we had to leave it off right before what seems like a really cool boss fight. So I'm I'm hoping that we can do this boss fight and get into um, five Berg five. Topia, Five Tropolis, whatever, whatever the fifth town's called. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's just hop into it. I've already got it booted up. Let's go. Have mercy on you this time. You've earned my full once more. Worse. I won't have mercy on you, you mean. Insolence. Okay. Um. <laughs> so for anybody who hasn't seen the videos up till now or didn't get to watch the last episode or the last couple episodes really Woo boy they are piling on real quick this guy up here uh i don't remember his name freddy freddy four fingers uh, uh whatever whatever his name is he is basically a cheater and he has captured i don't know if we can see bruno or not no, it doesn't look like it. He he's captured this guy's brother and hurt Dicey, like beat Dicey up real bad. And he's just he's just an overall not nice fella. He's just not a cool guy. We don't like him. We don't like you, buddy. Uh and so we have to beat him in a dice off, basically. So that's what we're doing now. So let's see what we got. Definitely gonna take Uma. Oh, it's giving us a lot of good stuff right off the bat. Yeah, we're just... Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to take pretty much all of it. We're going to pin this for later. Taking the bow. We're going to set a Bomba right here. Boom. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> I guess I should have moved. I wanted to watch the explosion, though. Yeah, the foreshadowing. Yeah, this guy really loves his four. He likes his meta fours. Eh, I guess you could say. Yeah, and that's another thing. He's wanting to, like, take Dicey from us now that Dicey's capable of uh, rolling fives. But we're not going to let that happen. That's not going to happen, bucko. Hmm. Oh, because we only rolled a one. Oh, what a bummer. Uh, okay, we're going to save that. We're going to save that. We're going to get rid of that. Okay. So, not a great roll. But it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll save up. Ooh! Why don't you just give up? I might even forgive you. Oh my gosh, this dude's fours are killing me. His puns are unforgivable. I can't wait to put you in this cage with Bruno. It's yeah, Bruno. Okay, I thought the dude's name was Bruno. Three. Not bad. Not bad. We'll go ahead and pop a healing since it's free. Um, da, 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 I don't know. I feel like I feel like the Bomba should do a massive drop of damage on this guy. Okay. Yeah, even I feel you. Just stop it, bro. <laughs> you're, you're you're not good. Oh, look at those gems down there. I want those gems, dog. 
<laughs> Feels so cheap. There are gems that we can't get. You lose? Lose. Okay. All right. Big money. Big money. Hey. Oh, that's okay. So that's perfect. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna send out the critical twenty. I judge this right, it should should bounce off of him, hit the dude over there. Then we're gonna take Yeah, we'll take the hammer of two. We'll give him a good wacky smacky. Oh 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 Nope, never mind. Well, I mean, the dice did a little bit. Oh my gosh. Come on. Okay, big dude's down. We're gonna run around with this healing real quick. I actually kind of like the fact that it stays on the move. It forces you to be on the move too. All right, that's one down. Tried to dodge through it. Oh, come on! Don't be a jerk. Whoop. Almost dead. Come on, stay still. Oh my gosh. There we go. Reward. High roller. Summon a dice pad. Standing on it changes it once charged. Wait, no. Standing on it charges it. Once charged, it always guarantees your dice's highest number while standing on the pad. It is removed from play after one minute. Okay, that's pretty cool. I can see the usefulness in that. Oh, wow. Please, please don't. Please, I'll do anything. You can be the four man. You can, you can be the high five roller. Just don't kill me. Please, please. Oh man, she was mad. She was close to doing it too. <laughs> oh no, they're twins. Ludo, my brother. Oh, I knew you'd gamble me back. You saved him even, and in exchange, I promised you a trip through the bag. And Bruno can tell you, I'm as good as my word. Oh, he is that. Then, she's all yours. <laughs> uh, no, we're not going in the bag, are we? I thought we would have, like, the option. Uh, I don't know if what we're doing is right or not, but... I know I want to go home or out here in random. It's where I belong. Uh... Yeah, I, th I, I think we, we, need to, we need to find our sister, dude. We've come this... We've come so far. We've... Uh, there's no way we can go home now. Out here in random. Oh, it's not where I belong. Oh, so the oh, these are basically the same answer. This one's just a little. Uh, I don't want to go home. We need to find our sister, dude. Out here in random. It's not where I belong. Dicey, I appreciate what you're trying to do. But I just don't have it in me anymore. Look, I. I've always looked to her for answers, but where she's going, I can't follow. 
There was an awkward pause, and I felt compelled to fill it. <laughs> Sorry, let's talk about something else. Why haven't you ditched me yet, Dicey? I was a stranger to you when we met. Hey, I am not like your little sister. You're like a little brother. You're my friend too. And friends help each other. Let's talk about that foreman. He's kind of like this cautionary tale, or it's sad, really. It's sad, really. The guy built his whole identity around one thing. That's it precisely. Power. Control. And then, when he met someone with a better hand... This is why you gotta be... Wait. This is why you gotta be into stuff beyond just being the best all the time. It's kind of a weird sentence. Me? I mostly just care about rescuing my sister. But now? Now I'm not so sure. You like to roll and play? That's awesome. Mm. The Queen's a mystery I don't feel any closer to solving. Um, and let's talk about Uma. She said everyone used to have a dice of their own. Do you remember what that was like? Whoa! Shaping your destiny like you and me? Dicey dice races, just doing all sorts of random magic? Honestly, quiet and cozy companionship makes sense. Hmm, so it seems like they did everything. Um, honestly, quiet and cozy companionship makes sense. But it sounds like the possibilities were endless. And that's good for now. So before we click on that, though, uh, <laughs> those the Bruno and Ludo brothers, um, I don't know if, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but there is a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. No. No. Not getting a phone call. Uh, <laughs> sorry. There's a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode where I, I I think it's somebody's cousin or nephew is like a hairdresser and they come over to the house and try to shave courage. Those two brothers give me such flash, like so hard flashbacks to that guy. I can't remember his name and I, I can only just re like barely remember snippets of that episode. But anybody who's seen Courage the Cowardly Dog probably knows what I'm talking about. Uh, honestly, those two dudes could have easily fit into any Courage the Cowardly Dog episode, and it would be totally fine. Um, all right, let's continue. That's good for now. Oh my gosh!
This bag, it's kind of huge and creepy. Yeah? If we explore it, it might feel a little... It might feel a bit less creepy. Oh. I know, Dicey. I think we may have made a mistake. Really, even? You think so? You climbed into two creepy dudes' bag. I, I don't see how it couldn't have not been a mistake. Alright, let's see what these people have to say. Mm-hmm. Yup. We've been bamboozled. We've been hoodwinked. Oh, you're new here. I'm sorry. The Bag Brothers did all this? The Bag Brothers didn't have to. All they had to do was trap us here. The Bag did the rest. You don't know the story, do you? He just wanted his brother back. Ludo. That may have actually been true. They are brothers, and they weren't always this way. Long ago, they ventured deep into a forest to a place none had gone before. Some say they disturbed some great evil there. They found this bag resting on a stump in a clearing. Or it found them. It's bottomless, you know? But it hates itself. It wants to be full. The bag twisted the brothers. It changed them. Possessed them. Made them hungry for more and more. The bag demanded they fill it with whatever they could find. First dirt, then rocks. But once the bag got a taste for flesh... Uh-oh. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's never good. We've got to do something. We all started like that. And now, well, just look at us. There's nothing that any of us can't... Uh, uh, what's that? What's what? Oh no. Oh no! They're coming! They're coming! Oh, I, what's, <laughs> what's coming? I don't like this, dude. Bro. You boys want to fight? All right. You want the dice? You come and get it. Give us the dice, even. These two dudes quickly became creepy as all heck, dude. Like they were creepy before, but now they like this. This is probably the creepiest thing in this game so far. Alright, okay. Dicey, let's see what we can do here, buddy. Uh, not a whole heck of a lot, it seems. Alright, let's see if we can bonk both these dudes with the same dice. Give it a shot, at least. What the heck, man? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, oh, it does like nothing. The bag wants your bones, even. It wants your soul. <laughs> no. 
Oh, come on, game, dude. Give me something. All right, I think the bow is probably our best bet in this situation. You just, uh, you just stay right there. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's the only thing bad about this bow, is the drop-off on it is massive. Okay, okay, so these dudes are uh, pretty tanky, but really not that powerful. Although I say that, and they're probably going to do something crazy here soon. Man, they sure are creepy. They they really nailed the creepy factor. Yeah, get boomed. I think you come flying at me all creepy like, bruh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh! You stay away from me, you Mr. Grabby Hands. That's right. Exactly it. Even ain't messing around now, fool. Okay, okay. We can take... We can upgrade our hammer, which is good. We'll save that for later, which is good. Get right behind this guy and get good old fashioned wacky smacky. Turn on the spin cycle, as I like to say. Brother. Whoa! Get a little close there, buddy. Get a little close. These dudes are quite tanky, though. Hey, we rolled a five. Heck yeah, boy. All right. We'll go ahead and have a uh, healing aura just kind of circling around. Just in case. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, okay. That was a little... Ah, dude. I'm, hurt. I'm hurting me more than they're hurting me. Yeah, get out of here. You're trash, bro. You're trash. Are they... Are they dead? Tell me you're gonna follow them. Please don't tell me you're gonna follow them. <gasps> no! The spirit of three manifests in the shape of a sword. Alright, that is cool. You know, we haven't really utilized the sword a whole lot. I think I'm actually going to. Let's go over to our deck real quick. Let's take out the triplet bomba. And. Mm, we're going to take out both of the critical 20s. Because honestly, they're just, they're not that great. Like, they're fine if you're in a really, like, mob-heavy situation. But I feel like we've already got some stuff that's good for that. Let's put two swords and a regular bow. The the one that has, like, longer range but not, not as much damage. I feel like that would pretty much round out our deck right now. 
Okay. Okay. Back to the well. This creepy well from, like, two episodes ago. Oh, dude. We're, we're not seriously following these guys, are we? Where's Dicey? Wait, where's Dicey? Oh, you. You absolute... Oh, okay, there he is. I thought they had stolen him. Alright, stay close to me, Dicey, dude. I, I worry about you. Oh, I don't like anything about this. It just feels bad. I mean, obviously, right? Like, <laughs> this is like classic horror movie. Like, don't go down the dark alley. Don't, don't go into the cave. You know, it's it's that kind of trope. All right, we can't go that way. Like, I seriously doubt these guys have good intentions. But whatever. Await death. Key. Why are we doing this? Why are we... Why are we going with death? I mean, at least death seems pretty chill. How incredibly odd this game is. I feel like I say that every episode, and I probably do, but it, it is. It's just so bizarre. And that's partially why I love it so much, but... It's... it's uh, there's many points in this game that are just like a fever dream. Like, the visuals of this game are just amazing. Like, 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 just look at it! Are you... Are you seeing this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's beautiful! It's so creepy and... Gothic. Some rescuer you are, even. He couldn't find me. He left me alone, even. He left me with... with her! And look what you made me do! There's nothing left, even. You're too late. Croft. Who? This even girl you keep mentioning? Hmm, sounds like a made-up name to me. <laughs> is her first name? That's my boy Beth? Seymour. <laughs> no, even is her first. Uh, ha. Put him on board my carriage. Her Majesty will know just how to make you talk. Nah, dude, not our boy Seymour. Listen, listen. These, these. Fools! These absolute goons messed with our wrong guy. They messed with Dicey, now they're messing with Seymour. Oh, 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 they done goofed. They done goofed. Ooh, 
I don't like that. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like anything about this. This is no bueno. Oh, we can sprint. Are we in a maze? Oh man, I hate mazes. I'm terrible at them. Okay. I mean, I'm terrible at everything, but. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. What? What's that? What's that mask? Hey, even. You finally made it. Odd. It's so good to see you. Good to see me. <laughs> if it really was so good, what took you so long? We need to go. Now. Right. You take forever to get here, and now I'm supposed to just follow you back? Please. You abandoned me, even. You left me to sink or swim in a horrible new world. And guess what? I swam. Odd. No, that's not what I wanted. What did you want, even? To go on a big adventure? To use me as some sort of... What? Motivation? Some grand excuse? Because from what the Queen's told me, you've been running around in every district just having a great old time while I've been here suffering! Odd. Please. I've done everything I could. <laughs> Right. Were you doing everything you could when you were meeting royalty in Three Town? Getting buddy buddy with Two Town's mayor? You've abandoned me, even. The Queen's told me all about it. I don't know. Maybe you wanted me to die. You'd have this tragic backstory. You'd be so much more interesting to everyone around you in Wandcroft. How oh, poor, brave Eve and tried and failed to save her sister. No, that's not it. In a way, I should be grateful. I finally know who I am. Odd. Listen to yourself. This isn't you. Oh no. This is me. I finally know who I am. And you say the same, even. I found my home. My true home. The Queen's love is tough, but she will never abandon me. You're not taking that away from me. So I don't want to be rescued, okay? I've changed, even. And it's about time you did too. The true dice brings order. The queen brings order. And you, all you are, is an agent of chaos. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't want any of this, you know. Oh, I thought I wanted to save my sister. And then I wanted to go home. But now... I just... I just don't know anymore. <gasps> Yo! What is wrong with you, girl? <laughs> hey! Boo -hoo, boo -hoo, I'm dead! Boo-hoo! I never got to do what I wanted! That's you! I was doing an impression of you just now. I, uh, I, d I, d I love this guy. Maybe your sister's a lost cause now, and maybe she's not. But if I were teamed up with an amazing dice who have only made more powerful through my adventures, I wouldn't be crying to myself in the back of death boat. I'd be out there kicking evil queen butt, no matter what. You got a superpower, sis. Don't waste it. Stop her and save everyone. You think I like shuttling dead children to the other side? Because I don't. I got other things I could be doing. You can I do love this, this guy. even. <laughs> so find your courage and dry your tears. Because this looks like your last stop. And hey, happy 12th birthday, kid.
Thanks, Death. What? What a fantastic character. What? Dicey fully upgraded. Dicey had been restored to his original six-sided self, and he was now ready to rock and roll. Oh, what? Can, all right, can we just take a second? Can we take a second to just appreciate death? Like, what a fantastic character that was. Gosh, I hope I hope we see him again. That was that was wonderful. That's like exactly the kind of character we needed at that moment. A little bit of a little he bit of levity. Back on track, more determined than ever to save whoever and whatever she could from that horrible queen, which is great. That's a story I'm much more interested in narrating. Exactly. That's that's just it. He he was exactly right too. Like we have Maybe our sister is a lost cause. Maybe she isn't. But we have the power to like help people and on the other to change side lives. Of that long abandoned and silent door was Evans' destiny. Whatever it would turn out to be. By golly, we're gonna find out. Let's do this, Dicey. And she strode towards it with determination. Like, man, we... Oh, we absolutely needed him just then. That was wonderful. My finger, Rita. Well, we're not just anybody. They were nobody there a moment ago, and then, bam! Here you are. <laughs> really makes you think. So honestly, this place doesn't seem a whole heck of a lot different than uh, uh, One Town. Or, yeah, I think it was One Town. Wherever it was that we like started our journey. Hey, Manny! Hey, Manny. You won't believe your eyes. Cool city, eh? Filled with machinery and whatnot. But the people here make their own cars instead of buying them. Ho oh, ho, that's bad for business, matey. But <laughs> I'm happy to tell you that they don't hold all the cards. <laughs> I still don't understand how you can be everywhere at once. I'm not everywhere at once. I'm only here at once. Wherever I go, there I am. And where I am, there's cards. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what I always say. Ask anyone. Oh, hey, speaking of cards, you want to trade some? For sure, dude. For sure. Uh, blacksmith blink. Uh, for a short period of time. Yeah, let's take one of those. Ooh, I kind of, yeah, I kind of want to get one of those. All right, let's just buy some cheap ones so we can get uh, another pin if we can. We might be able to weasel our way to another pin. 140. 140. I think we're pretty close to buying all of them. Alright. I don't think we're really going to change our deck much, though. I'm pretty happy with the setup that we have now. Unless, unless we happen to get a card that's just... Oh, you there! Uh, hello there. Yeah, you! I saw you. You came through that block gate somehow. That's against the rules, kid. Whole structure has been legally reclassified as a wall, not a door. 
Um, sorry? Oh, you will be, kid. That's against the rules. Come on, can't you cut me some slack? Oh, sure. The kid with a dice needs some slack. Please. It's real, isn't it? You've got a real dice there. Admit it. Mm, nah, that seems a little aggressive. No, it's just a box. A box that uh, walks and talks. That's what real dice do. Guards! Guards! Oh, uh -oh. Alright. So be it. You wish to have battle? Then by the lords. <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting on this voice. By King Arthur's round table, we shall battle. Alright, uh, will we roll five? Big old five, my dude. Okay, we're gonna take that. Take the bow. And we're gonna save these three for later. First off, let's get let's get the shield guy taken care of. They're always insufferable. Oh, he didn't fall down. Whoa, he reflected it. Let's back off, bro. Come on. Come on. Who's next? Back off. Yeah. Yeah. You guys. Oh, okay. Well, there's quite a bit of you. All right. We'll uh, drop a bomb de bomb right here. I can't. Okay. Boom. Yes. Good. Good. Come on. Stand up. Need your crystals. Oh. That was my fault. I dodged right into it. Boink. Nah, <laughs> get yoink. Hmm. With our ability to roll so high, we could probably get rid of one of those superb draws and replace it with something else. Wham. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, we're going to have to blink dodge through this guy. Hit him in the back. There we go. Blink dodge. And the old whack and smack him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Easy. I shouldn't say that, because I'll, I'll get into a fight that just absolutely wipes the floor with me. Yeah, hello. You won! Why, you beat him like it wasn't even a thing! <laughs> Keep it away from me! Can I go about my business now? Yes, 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 of course! Oh, I shouldn't have interfered! Uh, take, take this card, yeah? Please, it's very valuable and I, I, I want you to have it. It's a token of my regret. Oh, and hand esteem. You, you and your cube. I esteem you a lot now. Okay. Hmm. I'm going away forever now to rethink my choices in my life and live it long and peaceful like, right? Right. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I don't want to hurt you. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so dimensional pool. We don't have one of those in our... No, we sure don't. We sure don't. I'm thinking we can get rid of one of these superb draws. And let's replace it with a dice dimensional pool. Cause I feel like that could be super like especially if we combine that with a bomb. I feel like that would be extremely useful. Or even with the explosive bow. Yeah. Okay. We'll try that. 
because <clears throat> I did try making a deck with just like random random cards that I've never used, and it. I mean, it didn't go terribly, but there's a lot of cards. That's that's probably one of my main complaints, is there are quite a lot of cards that are just sort of, uh, I don't want to say useless, but very contextual. You know, Where I feel like it's. This junk come from? We don't make it here. I feel like, you know, having a deck that may not excel at any one thing but is pretty good at all things. You know, a jack-of-all-trades kind of hand, I feel, is best. Because you never know what situation you're going to get into. You never know what kind of arena you're going to be battling in. So I feel like it's better to just have a good deck at the ready rather than having a very specific deck for a specific situation that you may not find yourself in. But, I mean, that's, that's just my opinion. You know, if... Uh, I'm sure that there are people who have really, like, m probably, like, metagame decks, you know? Cards that <laughs> cards that I would never even think to use. Oh, I can't blink through him. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, but yeah, cards that I probably would never even think to use, but that they have probably found extreme success with, you know? Okay. Take that. Then take a sword. And we'll save. Nah, we probably don't need to save two healing items. So if I whack him with a sword, is it gonna hurt me? Yes. Yes, it does. So how do I damage this guy? See, I need I need long range. I'm gonna need my bow for this. Luckily, we have three bows in our deck, I believe. So, just a matter of finding one. Um... Yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade the sword. We'll definitely save that. And that. We'll get rid of these two. Actually, we'll, we'll have the healing already on the board. Oh, man. Yeah, see, I feel like... Golly, yeah, it definitely hurts me more than it hurts him. For sure. Hey, did that give me? That does. Gives me free money. All right. Sick. All right. We, we, either a bomb or a bow. Take care of this guy. There we go. Bomb buff and a bow. Sick. That worked out perfectly. Set the uh, bomba right there. Go ahead and pop it. Kaboom! Yeah! Get out of here. Absolute heathen. See, you're not so tough. Oh no. I shouldn't have said anything. Me. Keep your grabby hands off me, bro. Okay. So if we do that, it'll drop increased by one. So we can get one of these. Which is fine. That that should be plenty. We are gonna save these ones though. Alright. Back off, Buster. Back off, Buster. I get mad. Yeah, see, I, I kind of forgot how good the sword actually was. The sword's pretty handy. Okay. Alright, let's delve deeper. Let me, let me actually check and see the time real quick. Um. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll climb the ladder, see what's up here, and then I'll probably... Probably cut it off there. Is bustling with life. Even at this late hour... Perhaps the townspeople would have something interesting to share. Okay, the rest is history. Talk to Klebe? 
Um, five dis five dimensional chess, and the rest is history. So five dimensional chess. Even was in five tropolis. Once the greatest card makingest city. Once the greatest card makingest cities in random, but it was now a metropolis in decline. And even hurried through its somber streets and bleak alleyways, searching for any trace of her sister. She had to be close. She had to be. And the rest is history. Even, a stranger in a very strange land, resolved to learn more about this place, to better her bearings. There must be any number of people around here, around here willing to share Five Tropolis's history with her. But let's say there's three. Yeah, uh, that works. Talk to Ned, talk to Larry, and talk to Cleve. Sounds good. Three's a good number. Um, but alright, yeah, that's where we're going to end it off here. Before we do, I, I, I want to talk about a couple of things. The... I really... Okay, let me, let me compile my thought here. I really love how dark this game is willing to get. I mean, it's never really... Uh, grotesque, and it's never really, you know, vulgar in any way. Like, it doesn't show guts and, and vitriol, and, you know, it's not, like, gross. It, and and it's, it's it's one of those games that I, I, f I would be totally fine with, like, a 10 or 11-year-old playing, but that I would fully expect for them to have nightmares afterwards. You know what I mean? But again, it kind of ties back into... The the Nightmare Before Christmas is the Courage the Cowardly Dogs is where they they are made for children, but the subject matters and the the tone and overall visuals invoke such a creepy and borderline disturbing feeling that I absolutely love. I know all of those words are not usually associated with positives, but they are. I absolutely love the aesthetic and just the overall tone of everything. It just so vibes, dude. It so vibes. And then you get char the wonderful thing about those kind of stories and those narratives is that you get a character like Seymour, like the narrator, like Death. You get these wonderful char characters who are such a beacon of light in a otherwise dark and oppressive setting. And I feel like that contrast just absolutely works. Those are the best kind of combinations to have in these sort of stories. You you have this overall overall oppressive and dark and and almost depressing kind of story, but mixed in are all of these characters that make it seem not so bad. And I love that. I absolutely love it. So <laughs> having having death <laughs> be such a cool dude just tickled me so much. I can't even I like if I, I cut that's the only time I wish I had like a one of those uh you know game cameras or whatever, the the whatever, so you could see my I was just grinning ear to ear that whole that whole conversation with death. It's fantastic. Uh, but anyways, we're going to cut it off there. I've got stuff that i got to go do. Hopefully we can pick this back up soon. I'm I'm on board, dude. We are. I feel like we're getting close to the end, and I am there for it. Like, I want to see how this plays out. So, we will be back with another episode sooner rather than later. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for being a part of this with me. God bless. Namaste. Be safe out there.